Peace and blessings. In this corner, Boston 24. How's everyone doing this evening? Hope all is well. I'm doing pretty good myself. So um, I just want to get right into what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is a boxing prospect who's making himself look like a real clown. And it's, and it's like you're making enemies for yourself with the top boxers, you know, by making stupid comments. So now, Errol Spence is going at you because you said Errol Spence is an alcoholic. And Errol Spence don't have that drive and, you know, he don't have that motivation like he had because he got issues outside the ring. See, you know, even though I'm not an Errol Spence dude, I'm more of a Boots Enos dude than a Crawford dude, I'm not going to disrespect him because whatever is going on outside the ring. And I'm not going to ever say make a comment like this clown, Blair the Cobb, Blair Cobb said, but he calls himself Blair the Flair Cobbs, saying that Errol Spence is cursed. And then you media people, man, y'all feed into that and y'all post that crap, right? And y'all give him the platform to say dumb stuff like that, saying that somebody's cursed. Who the hell is he to say that? So he said that Errol Spence is cursed because he was in an accident and because of the attached retina. I mean, again, I'm not an Errol Spence dude. But I'm not going to say he's cursed, man. That's so disrespectful. You know what I mean? This dude, man, he's just looking for some shine, looking for, for something to talk about. So this is the way he goes about it. And you media people, man, y'all give him the platform to do that crap. Okay? I got a video, man. Well, Errol Spence said, look at this dude. He said, I'm cursed. He said, but this dude is a 33-year-old prospect. Really? Laugh out loud. Like, yeah, he's a clown. You know what I mean? <laughs> And he's like, come on, man. You take, you take media. He said to the media, don't be so desperate to get an interview, man, that you let a dude like this, man, get, get some play. You know what I'm saying? He said his idol is Ric Flair, an old UF, not UFC, but an old wrestling dude that was a clown too. Ric Flair. You know what I mean? Like, that's his idol. So, He's Blair the Flair Cobbs. Like, come on, man. Clown dude. But anyway, I also got an interview with, 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 with Jerron Enos, with Boots. But they was at a fight. And I don't know the fight that they was at. And this was last year in October. They was at a fight. I'm trying to remember what fight that was. But they was at a fight. And here he goes. And he, you know, him and, him and Jerron Enos is talking. And you can see he's a clown. He grabs his hand and don't want to let his hand go. Like, what are you doing, man? You fucking, like, excuse my language. We grown ass men. Why are you grabbing my hand and holding it? Like, come on. And then you're going to talk about it's all love, it's all love. So then, Jerron Eagles was saying, man, come on, man. You know what time it is, man. Cut the crap, bro. You know you're not trying to do nothing with me. And then his father comes over, Bozy Enos, and he said, man, he pats him on the shoulder. He shakes his hand and he pats him on the shoulder. shoulder and he said, listen, man, you know how Blair is. He like to talk. He's a talker. Yeah, he just want to talk. He just want to talk. But then he kept going and going and going. So Bozy just came back over and he said, listen, man, let's, let's be real. You know what happened when you got in the ring with my son. You know what happened when you got in the ring with Boots. What happened? Y'all were spawned and you ran up out that ring. He said, you ran up out that ring, right? You ran up out the ring. Yeah, he ran up out that ring. He ain't say no. Yeah, he ran up out that ring. So, man, let's cut it out, man. And that was in spawn. So what you going to do in the ring, man, with, with, with Boots? What you going to do in the ring with Errol Spence? Man, you really looking for that kind of shine, man, to just get your butt beat? And the trainer that you got, Freddie Roach? Come on, man. Y'all need to stop, man. I don't even know why, why Freddie Roach would waste his time with you, man, the clown stuff that you on. But I'm just saying, man, you need to give your mouth a break, man, because you're going you gonna to get your check cash. You're going you, you're gonna to write a check that, you, that your ass is going to get cash and you ain't going to be able to deposit. You know what I mean? You're going to be straight withdrawal on your ass, man. So, you know, I feel like, yo, man, you a clown, Blair Cops. Okay? Keep it real. All right? You a clown. And if you really don't want to fight these dudes, cut it out. All right? Yeah, Bootsiness, he may y'all may be yo, both of y'all may not be champions. He may not be a champion yet either, but he's on another level as far as his status in the rankings with the IBF, the WBA, the WBC. He's he's on another level. Okay? He's looking to fight 
the best. You're not one of the best. So you fight the people on your level. And if you get a shot, you're going to get your ass whipped. Okay, so just cut the crap, man. Cut it out, man. Blair Cobb, Blair the Flair. Cut it out, man. And if I see you to your face, boss, I'll tell you the same thing. Cut it out. All right? Cut the nonsense, Blair Cobbs. All right? Ain't nobody afraid of man. You yapping, yapping, yapping. All right? And I know I'm. we're going to run into each other at one of these fights. Because I'm going to be at some fights. All right? And um, <laughs> I'm going to tell you the same thing, my man. I'm 200 pounds. I'm six feet. Yeah, we, we, we ain't clowning over here. All right? So I'm going to tell you the same thing to your face, Blair Cobbs. Cut the crap. All right? Peace and blessings in this corner boxing 24.